All right. Thanks for joining me again. And uh, I want to show you guys uh, rigging this stuff to your new mesh. Sorry, I'm shaking it around. I don't know how I do that. So let's get the hyper shade up here. And currently we have bone root and bone slide still rigged. And let me hide my new weapon to this guy. So we want to undo that rigging. So you're going to go up here to edit, delete all by type history. And that is going to destroy the link between those two and no longer is it rigged to this model. So I'm going to get these out of the scene here, delete and uh, show my new weapon. So I know I'm going to have this bone sliding back whenever the weapon fires. And that is going to make part of your mesh go back in um, the X space, going to go negative X. So that's why I have this little bolt here. And uh, in retrospect, I should, probably should have made so this could go back and there would be kind of an interior to this model. But I kind of made this model before I knew about the St. Throw stuff, so it wasn't really optimized for that. But keep that in mind. You can have this uh, fling back, and that's where your, you know, your shells will come out, and they'll look real cool. So let's grab this bone here and then select our mesh. And what we're going to want to do is go to Animation and skin, bind, skin, smooth bind. So now we have that selected. I'm gonna shift click to select, I have the bone selected here and select this again. I'm gonna go in the animation little tab here and hit paint skin weights tool. And I'm gonna open up the tool settings so I can see what I'm doing. So we have bone root over here and bone slide. And the root, you're gonna to want to make sure everything is white. And currently it isn't, it's only, it's kind of centralized around that bone. But we're gonna to wanna to flood that value. Uh, white being one, and which means full influence, and black meaning um, no influence, and that is zero. So we have this set to one, the opacity and the value. So I'm gonna flood that with that. And I'm actually, it's easier to see in the default renderer because it's pure white instead of kind of a shaded white. So there you go. So now you see this uh, bone slide is not affecting anything. So we're going to want to change that. So I'm going to switch to selecting faces. I'm right click dragging down. You guys might have a different way of doing it because there's a million ways to do the same thing in Maya. So I'm actually going to double click that and I'm going to be able to select that because it's a separate mesh entirely actually. And uh, control, I'm going to hold control, right click drag to the left to select the vertices of that because we're skinning the vertice weights. Um, so you can't actually select faces and have that do anything. So now that we have that selected, um, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna select slide and it was before. Um, and we're gonna flood that with that value. Um, so when you drag this back, it's gonna go back and animate just like uh, the original weapon. So in the next part, I'm going to go over all of these little locator guys and uh, what they do. So now we have our skeleton set up. That should be pretty much it for this part. In the next video, I'm going to go over all the tags and uh, show you where to put them and uh, what to do with those. So see you then.